بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing there is something called vulnerabilities uh, vulnerabilities refers to the weakness in your network or maybe in your system code or any any kind of weakness which will be used by the attacker to introduce some kind of attacks like so this particular weakness will reduce the security assurance in your network so some of the examples like a vulnerability can be in the protocols you might be using some protocols which are more vulnerable to attacks or maybe some kind of older operating systems if you are using or maybe some kind of application vulnerabilities like you have some uh, some mistake in the software code which is used by the attacker to introduce some kind of attacks or maybe in terms of designs like maybe you design your network not in a proper way uh, and attacker gets to know that vulnerability and he can use that to introduce some kind of attacks now next thing if you want to classify the different types of vulnerabilities there are plenty because if you want to provide apply some counter measure uh, vulnerability needs to be classified like we can say that understanding the weakness in the system or the network uh, is important in order to prevent the network uh, prevent some kind of threats and by taking some kind of proper counter measures so uh, there are different types of vulnerabilities like maybe uh, in the policy flaws like maybe in your company uh, there are some security policies applied maybe some issues with the policy or maybe some kind of designing issues uh, implementing some protocols which are vulnerable to some kind of attacks or maybe some kind of misconfiguration in the network which leads to uh, some some denying the communication or or it can be any kind of um, misconfiguration related issues like wrong configurations software vulnerabilities humans uh, human humans are also vulnerable to some kind of uh, attacks where they can just provide some confidential information or some kind of malicious software like virus worms or maybe some kind of hardware vulnerabilities relating to hardware or maybe you you the attackers may have some physical access to the devices which are not properly secured